Hey guys. So I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general. They're for the collective, so if something here doesn't resonate, just leave it for the person who needs to hear it, and remember that there's no gender in Tarot. I'll pull two separate energies. The first I'll call your energy. The second should be your person's, but if they fit better in the opposite, just switch sides. And yeah, the same goes for cross watchers. If you need to book a private personal reading or any other service, all the information is in the description below and pinned in the comment section. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. That can mean all kinds of things, right? So let's get into it. My hair is funky right now. All right, overall energy is the moon. Pisces energy, the hangman, Pisces energy, interesting, we have the nine of cups, the seven of wands, the empress, Libra Taurus energy, the ace of pentacles, The Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so there, this will let you know if this reading is for you or not. I have a couple here and I got a baby mama who's a problem. Or a mother who's a problem. Could be a mother, like a mother-in-law, something like that. The Empress, you know. Um, right now, there's serious confusion surrounding around whether you can even be happy in this situation or not. It's like you constantly have to defend yourself against this mother, mother figure, baby mother, somebody who's in high authority of either you or your partner's life. It's like dealing with, you know, and of course the Empress doesn't have to even be a, a female, you know, this can be a dad, a baby dad, all of that. You know. So I feel like this is a kind of newer relationship obviously and you're you're just mentally struggling with it you don't know whether to stay or go you know it's like and, and you don't know if you should it's like your your partner and I don't know there's a, it, I mean there's no conversion here about like what to do with this I, I mean like you just feel maybe like a you're like like all hope is to be abandoned here it's like you're just constantly met at a place where you just feel like trapped into that so I don't you know this could literally be the person that you have children with and it's like you're trying to move on but this person's just a problem they're just always right in the damn way you know So there could be some thought here on like, how do I work this out? You know, it's like, <laughs> it's not really a situation where you can go no contact, but trying to figure out ways in which you can be not so contacty, right? <laughs> like, 
I don't know, I just feel like it's very, like, confusing trying to figure out what to do, trying to not step on any toes, trying to not piss anybody off, but also feeling like you're constantly defending yourself in this situation. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Overall energy is the Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. The Fool. Aries Aquarius. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. The Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, the Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is uh, more so on your person's part. You know, I feel like when they think about the past, there's like a lot of like not so good like moments with this person, you know, um, and I do feel, you know, like there, there could have been like some huge like pride issues and that, that could be how you're seeing that situation too, but they are trying to like move on and, and find some kind of peace in life. And this is like, you know, like however things ended with this person, it was actually really painful. And they actually waited a long time waiting for things to get better and they just never did. They just kept investing and investing and investing and I feel like, you know, things just were not equal. They weren't really reciprocated. And yet they feel like with you, they will be. It's sort of like moving from a place of insecurity into a more secure place is kind of the position that this person's in. Like... So if that was the confirmation that you need where you're like, well, I, you know, like, does this, is this even a thing? Or is like, you know, is that still a thing? It's not still a thing. <laughs> okay. What's coming up here for Capricorn? The United Wands. Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, Strength, Leo Energy, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, The Emperor. Aries energy, the Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's like taking the correct actions to, to try to devise a plan here where nobody is, you know, things just don't get tumultuous. The There's solid investment in this new situation. 
there just has to be that conversity conversation that clarity that future planning how are we going to do this and how are we going to set up that so in the next couple of days see you sort of like taking control of the situation and and figuring out how to work it all out here um There could have been parts where you kind of were like, you know, this person was kind of waiting to really like get into something legitimate with you because of some beef and you feel like that, you know, that that's inappropriate. <laughs> Even though this person makes you happy, so now we're moving into the, from the nine of cups to these ten cups and ten pentacles. So, you know, it's like really having that conversation about how to kind of do everything here to make it work for everybody involved but actually moving into you know this real commitment here ten of cups the ten of pentacles so it'll work out you know but i feel that in the advice we have the page of swords the nine of swords in the world it says stop being nervous about the conversation stop being nervous to speak your truth stop being nervous to say what the hell you got to say here <laughs> it just has to you, you just gotta blurt it out probably hey what is this situation and where are we going we have a personal issue reaches resolution cancer energy Go with the flow as water trickles down a stream. Do not hurry and change. Falling leaves do not signify the end, but the beginning of a fruitful season. So yeah, it's saying, you know, don't just jump into a conclusion here and be like, you know, I don't think this works for me. I'm just going to cut this person off. You know, don't hurry. <laughs> Um, because if you have this conversation, things can change, you know, it's like, just tell this person how you're feeling so that they can do something with that, you know, because I feel like this is your person, the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. And this person, you know, it's, it's more about you just being afraid to like, just stand up for yourself or... Like, I, I feel like here you feel defensive and, and the advice is to actually defend yourself. Actually say something. Get the truth. Ace of Swords. So, that's what I have for you guys. I'll see you soon.